Let's get right to the tweets that were sent to me. People having some questions before I get on out of here. Uh, at Big Baby Jonathan, he writes, favorite moment in your career of all time. I've had a few, but the favorite moment of my career is game six of the NBA Finals in 1998 when Michael Jordan stole the ball from behind from Karl Malone. We knew he wasn't going to give up the ball. And he dribbled it down the court and ultimately found himself faced up against Byron Russell. And we were standing in Utah in the press box and you're supposed to be neutral and objective. You're not supposed to cheer. And we were like, yo, OK, oh, my goodness. And everybody was on their feet and we saw Jordan and Jordan grabbed it, stutter step, went to the right, pushed off a little bit, crossed over Byron Russell, pulled up for the J, switched it and posed. We went like this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's how we won the press box. It was insane. And I was standing next to my buddy, Marty McNeil, writing for the Sacramento Bee, who passed away a couple of years ago. God rest his wonderful soul. My brother, I loved him dearly. Good dude. Great reporter. Um, but we were standing next to each other. I'll never forget that moment as long as I live. Allen Iverson dropping 48 against the Lakers in game one of the NBA Finals in 2001 was up there. Uh, him going back and forth with Vince Carter in that semifinal series in Toronto where he dropped 50 one night and Vince would drop 50 another. That was another moment. And before any of that, I was covering Temple basketball and Temple beat fifth-ranked UMass with, 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 with coach by John Calipari. You know what I'm saying? Lou Rowe was playing. Mike Williams was playing. Marcus Camby was playing. People like that. And they were jumping over the seats and, and storming the court when the Temple Owls had um beat and upset John Cheney's Temple Owls had beat. They upset UMass. So those were some of my favorite moments. Let's go to the next one here. Let's go to at CTRL Dub. Ben is his name. He said, what is the biggest animal you could take down in a fight? Land animal, even terrain, quarter mile, wild field. Hell with that question. I ain't think about taking down no damn animal. I'm trying to run in a different direction. I don't know who's a wild animal, who's not. Why the hell would I want to fight an animal for? Hell no. See, that's some white boy stuff right there, just so you know. It's not a, it's not a uh, insult. It's courage. I, I appreciate y'all. But that's some white boy stuff. The brothers ain't thinking about fighting a wild animal, okay? Just so you know. Let's go to the next one. At Chicken Leg John. He writes, Stephen A., what is your take on the tush push slash brotherly shove? Do people need to quit complaining or do you really think they should outlaw it next year because it is automatic for one team? I think it should be outlawed. I think it should be outlawed, um, um, Chicken Leg John, because you got to remember that the NFL prides itself on safety, particularly in this day and age. And when bodies are being shoved and pushed into one another and you're stockpiling one another and stuff like that, that's not necessarily a football play. It should be outlawed, and I think it will be outlawed after this season. Another one writes, um, at B-O-R-I-C-U-A Baruqua Boss 76 writes, your top three cities you enjoy visiting the most. Number one, Miami. Number two, L.A. And number three, only in warm weather, Toronto. I met a woman in Toronto in 1998. She was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. It is 25 years later. And I've still never seen a woman. I've never laid eyes on a woman that beautiful. She was a bartender. I've never laid an eyes on a woman that gorgeous. We see people in the movies. We see, you know, the Halle Berry's of the world, the Beyonce's of the world. We, we see stuff like that. Jennifer Lopez is gorgeous as all get out. And, you know, and then you got uh, Kim Kardashian. And, you know, I, you know how I feel about her and, and, and all of that stuff. I have never seen a woman more beautiful in terms of laying eyes on a woman. I've never seen a woman more beautiful than this woman that I met in 1998. Never saw again. I just had a ginger ale at the bar, ate a cheeseburger, left. I've never seen her again. Um, she was the bartender at the bar. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. That was 25 years ago. And I still remember. So that should tell you how gorgeous she was. Um, Jamie Thiessen, T-H-I-S-S-E-N, writes, do you trust Brock Purdy in the playoffs? 
Why not? Man hasn't lost a regular season game. He started. He got them to the AFC to the NFC championship game. And if he hadn't gotten hurt, who knows what would have happened against the Philadelphia Eagles? We won't know. That's why that's really the matchup we should all be looking forward to. The Philadelphia Eagles versus the San Francisco 49ers. Because the San Francisco 49ers last year lost all four quarterbacks in a season. And by losing all four quarterbacks, you know it's bad when Christian McCaffrey had to line up behind center in the last two and a half quarters of an NFC championship game, a birth to the Super Bowl at stake, and you knew the opposing team could not throw a pass because they did not have a quarterback. I mean, what do you say? That's where I'm at with it. I'm sorry. 